How's it going everybody? Thank you so much for tuning into this video and as you can see the wife's frame is finally painted. As I talked briefly in the last video uh, I was kind of doing some behind the scenes things as far as the frame goes uh, that I was a little perturbed about if you will. So the frame is now completely painted and now comes the time where it starts to actually going back together with the truck. I, I live for these moments. I love these moments. I kind of hate the tear down uh, just because you find odds and ends of what you need to do when you go back to it and stuff like that. Ripping things apart is fun, but it's just uh, it's just ripping things apart. I get excited about going back together with things. So now that the frame is completely painted, uh, I decided not to go with uh, powder coating it and here's why. So the reason why I decided not to go with powder coat is my channel is mainly focused on showing y'all that you can do things by yourself and you don't need to spend oodles and oodles amount of money to get the quality that you want. Um, for me to do powder coating to this frame um, it's just not something I'm able to do at the house, obviously. Uh, I don't have this big powder coating vat or booth in order to do that. Um, I've always just painted the frames of my trucks in the past, and to me, it holds up as well as I need it to. Um, powder coat is definitely tried and true, durable, and it lasts a long time. I have nothing against powder coat. However, some people out there uh, may not be able to afford or have the ability in order to go get their frame powder coated So I opted to do frame paint now and by all means if you feel the need to do so and you know you you have the ability to and the uh, uh, Money in order to do so then by all means go get your stuff powder coated if you want to me uh, Paint the frame. I have no problem doing that. This thing is I'm sorry my wife's truck is a 1997 and I want this thing to be perfect enough for her and I so it's not going to be this astronomically uh, over the top build or anything like that but it's nice for to have nice things and you know I do what I can so this isn't going to be some off the wall build or you know there's no budget to keep in mind I painted this frame for 80 bucks uh, so $80 versus how much it was ever going to be to powder coat the frame take that into consideration um, again anybody can do this I'm doing this obviously in my dooryard and I am out in the elements so another thing is I hate 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 um, how the truck scene has kind of gone with off oh, it ain't powder coated uh, is it really a build if you're not taking it down to the frame is it really a build well, not everybody has the ability in order to do so. I would also say that it all depends on what you're going for. Are you going for, you know, something that's practical, daily driver, um, just built in your garage, or you and your dad, or you and your buddies built it together, or are you going for SEMA build? Personally, I know for a fact I'm never going to be able to go to SEMA, and, uh, you know, I have no desire to build this big pristine proper thing that I can barely drive around because I'm afraid of it getting scratched up or um, nicks and scuffs stuff like that so so again I'm just building this for my wife um, I feel like she deserves it and it's a crew cab long bed which is you know I absolutely love crew cab crew cab long bed <laughs> and I don't see the reason or to completely empty my bank account um, I'm perfectly fine with just painting my frame and you know if you want a powder coat then that's your wallet but I've rambled on enough let's actually look at this frame and what I did to all right so now looking at the frame this thing was had a bunch of surface rust on it but nothing that really ate into the metal at all I would imagine or I would bet that this frame still has factory thickness. Being in the south its entire life, um, it didn't see any road salt or anything like that. It was, and it still honestly had factory paint on it and it had the factory uh, um, coating on it that 
Now I started going at it with a uh, wire wheel on my grinder and it showed factory paint. So I knew it was all just surface rust. There was really no pitting anywhere. There was really no um, rot of any sort on the frame at all. So that was awesome to say the least. Started painting this frame with this product. I forget the damn name of it. Uh, it said you could either spray it on with a gun or you could use a brush to uh, get it on the frame and it would take care of all the surface rust and stuff like that. I initially started using that and I absolutely hated it because uh, number one, it was going to take me way too fucking long because I was using a brush. Number two, I did not like that it was leaving streaks everywhere and stuff like that. So uh, I just opted to go with uh, a different product. With that being said, I'm not looking for any show quality build or anything like that. Again, um, just do it in the driveway, uh, out in the elements and stuff like that. So I decided to opt for this Rust-Oleum Gloss Protective Enamel. Um, this is what I primarily use for whatever frames I'm painting and again it not being a show build I wasn't too crazy about going gloss but the wife really wanted gloss so it's her truck I'm gonna get her the product that she wants so it's a nice glossy finish um, not really I mean it's got a little bit of reflectiveness to it but nothing uh, extravagant I want to say but I'm getting incredibly excited guys because this is the turning point instead of ripping stuff apart now it's all gonna start going back together and I'm I'm personally happy with the way that uh, this turned out get you around here on the passenger side a little bit I mean I'm just I mean so I Originally grew up in Maine and doing this to a frame from a truck that was up there Obviously, it would be completely pitted up. Uh, it would just look horrible. The factory uh, thickness of the frame would be questionable in places uh, especially right down here um, I've seen holes go through the frame um, Just no bueno but this was just damn near a pristine frame. All it had literally was just surface rust. I removed everything off the frame except for uh, the brake line here and the rear brake line. Just masked the ends off. So yeah guys, this is the turning point on the wife's truck. I'm super excited to have this thing start finally going back together. Um, the way that I'm going to do it is now that I got the frame done, I have the suspension lift on order. I'm going to get that painted. I'm going to um, redo the rear axle, get this all nice and pretty, uh, get some uh, color on the springs and the rear diff, and get a new uh, cover for the rear diff as well. And then the suspension's going right underneath it. So once the suspension's on, I'm going to be ripping the motor and transmission out of my smash crew cab and that is going to give new life to this old girl so the uh, miscellaneous suspension components such as like the bushings for the leaf springs these are gonna have to be replaced because uh, you can see the dry rot and weather crack and stuff like that it's gotta get new U-bolts. Uh, brake lines look really good, so I think I'm gonna leave them alone, but I am gonna get new brakes for it. I'm just really excited for this build to start, start taking shape. Um, it's kind of bittersweet that I have to take the heart out of my crew cab, uh, but uh, that thing is not dead forever, like I've said in the past, so we will uh, we'll cross that road when we get there, but I'm going to show you guys the whole process of throwing everything back onto this frame exactly where everything goes so it's going to take some time probably be next year by the time i finish this truck but that being said i am ecstatic for this to start happening so thank you all for so much for watching let me know what you guys think in the comment section below as always uh go if you want to reach out to me personally my links are in the description 
that being said, take care guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.